Okay. Seven, Here we go. Six, five, oh, I'm going to play this person three, first. Two, one, zero. So every game will be a gambit or an ultra-aggressive opening. Um, oh, I'm not playing the other I am. Oh, that's strange. Thank you, Andrew. Gifting to Cole Allen Music. All right, we're starting with a wing gambit. Wing gambit Sicilian. It's a cool line. It's deflecting the, the pawn away from the center. Uh, trying to get some quick development on the queen side. Uh, I'm just going to let black take. I insist on being down a pawn. Opponent not having any of it. Okay, play this. Wow, I think I have to take back. I really tried to gambit there. Now we have something that resembles a Karo Khan. Um, bishop b2. Maybe bishop d3 first. Challenge the bishop. I still want to play aggressively. Uh, play this first. Pin the knight. g5, wow. We'll play knight c3. Ideas of knight b5, maybe. Also ideas of knight e2, just to hold on to the pawn. Is my opponent actually playing very aggressively? So h4 is a controversial move. I'm allowing this ugly structure. But I'm envisioning a scenario where... I can I play this move? Knight g5, bishop h6, knight h7. That's crazy. I think I'll do that. Trying to keep with the theme of the stream. So the thing about the structure, it looks ugly. It looks very weak. But if my king comes to h2, it's so, so safe. I remember like watching some Anish Giri lecture where he was explaining this concept. Okay, using some thank you, very Jeff abstract Bezos. ideas. Thank you, bigger Eric Rosen. Oh, thank you, Teto Baggins. Okay, this move, this move defends both pawns. Do, oh, but doesn't defend this pawn. Okay, I'm gambiting. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've. Queen b6 was very strong, pinning a lot of things. Or just one important thing. Okay, I win back the pawn. My knight's just chilling on h7. It's actually a really interesting position. And just pieces are scattered. Now that the center is more open, like g3 is a bit of a target. I have to watch out if I ever play king h2 and the bishop stays on the diagonal, then h4 will be undefended. But I think I still want to play king h2. Because e5 was maybe coming. e5 is maybe still coming. If I take, I get forked. But e5, I have queen f5. Okay, queen f5. Hmm. And knight will come back. Idea 96. I'm kind of just abandoning this pawn. But if queen b3, I have rook b1. My queen does defend backwards. And now all of a sudden there's some pressure point on b7. Combine that with 96, this looks actually like pretty promising. I mean, I'm down two pawns, but have a lot of energy with the pieces. So there's this move. Opponent wants to draw. Uh, maybe later, maybe never.
Yeah, this king is so safe, especially compared to this king under fire. Kind of like the prospect of queen d7. Hitting the knight and pawn, both of which are undefended. This pawn's pinned. The bishop is also pinned to the b7 square. Oh no, my rook. Oh no, box queen. Okay. Just want a lot of material there. Yeah, this king can't really be touched. Okay, that was a nice game. Um, oh, can people hear the move sounds? Maybe it's a little bit quiet. Should be audible, though. Okay, that was a fun start. So that started as a wing gambit. A cool middle game position. A pretty brutal attack in the later middle game. Okay, audio is good. That's good to hear. Okay, um, so more aggressive gambits. I mean, I gotta at least try one Stafford, right? Stafford gambit time. Um, okay. This is my way of insisting on Stafford. If we're not getting Stafford, I'll play a reverse Evans Gambit. <laughs> it's probably not a good idea, but it looks kind of interesting. I'm sacking multiple pawns. Actually, just one pawn. White well, could have taken here. So the whole idea behind gambiting, for one, you're trying to, I'm trying to put my opponent on the back foot early and then just trying to get some like early momentum, accelerated development. Um, this position, not sure how much compensation there is. Wow. Take on Bassan. I can also take, but then takes. And D4 is a great move. Let's go. Bominos. I think I'll take this way and move back. Expecting knight takes. Okay, bishop b7 is a move. Bishop g5 might be coming, and queen c7. It's very iffy. Uh, good move. Queen c8. I want to play this. Unleash the beast. I think I still have d4. I might be winning c2. Not sure if I want to take c2, but might be one way to recover material. I don't think I want to take c2. I didn't want to allow the trade because the knight is better staying on the board, at least for me. Yeah, that's a small issue. Play h6. And we could be trading, like trading minor pieces and then trading queens. So I'm still down a pawn, but I have the bishop pair. And maybe still some kingside attack potential, like knight g4. And bishop d6 may be coming. Uh, bishops are strong in the center. This pawn is weak, though, in the center. Like, can I take? Because knight takes, I forked the knight and bishop. There's knight b5. 
Oh, good move. What's happening here? I want to take on H2. There's 97 in the end. Huh. Trying to exploit the knights. Trying to win back the pawn. I think I just blundered though. Okay. Opponent had knight f5. Okay, now it's an end game. Attacking b2. Play rook e8. Oh no, I'm getting forked. I have rook g5. Check. Hmm. Go for this. Turning this. Ah. Oh, that's unfortunate. I got so low on time. The this this position is winning for black. I just pre-moved. I I didn't uh I didn't play the right move there. <laughs> uh I got a little bit too low no on way. time. Good game though. That was a sharp one. Really I I spent a lot of time early on trying to fight back. What to do? Okay, let's try and continue some aggression. I'll play Scandi. Maybe I'll play some Gambit line here. Welcome back, Emberg. Hey, Eric. Hope you're doing well. Just had a suggestion for a YouTube short See. series of your most funny checkmates, beginning with your mm. very first on Passant checkmate. All the love. I have to go through the clips. I have been posting more like short form content. Yeah, this game, I'm like, <laughs> I'm usually the one who gambits, but here I, I accepted the gambit. But I'm still trying to play aggressively. This is actually paying off really nicely. Let's see, two's going to fall, or the queen will fall, or both. Queen d1, knight c2, king e2, queen d3 checkmate. Uh, that's a move. Check. Let's start with this, ensuring there's no queen b5. c2 will still be falling. Uh, it's crazy that bishop b5 is actually a, a big threat. So let's play this. Like, if I took the rook, bishop b5 takes, and white would have at least a draw, if not more. But this is looking good. So I'm attacking the queen. And very soon... Actually, where does the queen go? Queen c4? Yeah, I'll probably move back to d4. Attacking the rook. 
Uh, is this... Is trapping the queen? Maybe the queen is trapped. <laughs> Weirdly enough. I mean, the knight can take. But I'll keep, keep harassing the queen. Rook C8 coming. No mercy here. Calculating bishop b4. Play this first, preparing bishop b4. Oh, there's a cool mating idea. Is it mating though? It's really close. Queen takes queen knight d4. Okay, that move I missed. Oops. I have this move. Unleashing the attack against the queen. It's getting kind of murky though. I have this move. You probably should not have gone into this. Uh, mm, play this. Queen h6 is coming. Okay, that's a nice gift. I could have been in a lot of trouble there. I'm still in a little bit of time trouble. Okay, I'll take the rook first. Come back here. Oops. Okay, there we go. That was much closer than it probably should have been. Oh man, good game. Kudos to my opponent for fighting very valiantly. The king was very slippery. Someone doused it in oil. Okay. Did I miss Maiden 1? I'm sure there were missed opportunities. Um, no berserking. Let's play e4. Trying to have some more gambits and aggressive openings. Thank you, Statsco. Playing Vindes. Okay, I'm going to play a line. Yeah, let's play this line. Uh, e5 and then b4. This is a wing gambit against the French. Uh, pretty offbeat. The idea is similar to what I did earlier against the Sicilian. Um, deflecting the pawn away from the center. Against the French, there's um, more of a positional reason for this. Is that once I play d4, it's much harder for black and to, uh, to contest the center pawns. But then the other reason for this line is um, here I'm guaranteed knight in d6. And black is already in, in some trouble. Because knight d6 can't be stopped, really. Now d4. I mean, this move might be coming. Thinking with knight f5, I just move back. And then if a6, I play g4. Because there's a pin. We might see knight h4. But wherever the knight moves, I move back to d6. Hey, it's Ilya Nizhnik. What's up, Ilya? Hope you're doing well. A 
very strong grandmaster in chat. Okay, so yeah, I return to d6. Oh no, black can take and then win my pawn and fork me. Someone call an ambulance. Yeah, I've um, fortunately I've watched uh, Levy's most recent video about how to checkmate in four moves. Levy had a video where um, he was explaining this very important concept about checkmate on f7. I was well equipped for knight takes d4. Yeah, this is a dream come true position. And this is really one of the better scenarios from a, a wing gambit against the French. The black's pieces are a little bit sad. Like the bishop has one legal move, but it loses instantly. And b5, I take it. Now, it is a question what is white threatening here? But probably just a matter of developing, maybe eventually like going for the pawn storm. Or maybe threatening to win on time. Um, F6. Really want to take it, but let's not lose a knight. Play bishop d3 first. Okay, I'll play c4. This could get interesting if black takes. Black will have three center pawns. Ooh. Okay, that move I forgot about. But I have this. Wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> I messed this up. I think I messed this up. Maybe it's not so bad. Might win on time. Wait, if I take, I get forked. Oh, dear. How'd this happen? Okay, let's take and check. Ah, I want a castle, but Challenge. I still get forked. Play a whole game speaking in Pig Latin. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Is okay a pig Latin word? Um, we'll just play King F1. And I'll shamefully win on time. I forgot how to speak pig, pig Latin. Oh dear, I'm, I'm in trouble here. Don't checkmate me. I used to be fluent when I was a child. Okay. <laughs> Back to tournaments. What would my name be in Pig Latin? Because I don't know how you handle words that start with vowels. My last name would be Ozen Ray, right? Igpe something. Okay, oh, Berserk. I'll play e4. Continuing to mix things up. Carol Khan. Um, I'm trying to think of a fun gambit to play against this. Let's play. Yeah, let's play knight f3. And then after d5, d3. This will be similar to a Tennyson gambit, knight g5. And there's some cool tricks with this line. Um, probably most common for black to take. Black's not taking, but I'm giving a, a second chance. Mm. Okay, now it's tempting to take the pawn. If I take the pawn, we trade queens, but I think there's still some aggression. This is pawn e4, have some initiative. Uh, if I play this, there's knight g4. And meanwhile, h6 is a threat. Uh, what to do? Okay, I just have to defend and 
Maybe be a little bit patient here. I want to play f4. Yeah, I'm going to preserve f4. Oh, I berserked. <laughs> oh, I have 28 seconds. Okay. Well, now I have to play aggressively because I can't have this drag on into the end game. We'll start pre-moving. Actually, maybe G5 at some point. Yeah, let's orchestrate some attack. The Grook G1 is a pretty safe pre-move. And so is H5. Okay, the attack is raging. Threatening E5, maybe. So if takes, takes. Wait, takes... What do I take with, though? I think I want to take with bishop. Right here I take. Like, weirdly transposes. So I have a pawn on f6. This bishop is kind of sad. Which makes me happy. I want to double up. I don't think there's much black can do about it. Although this move is possible. Ooh. I've trapped the bishop on h7. I have three attackers. Rook f7, I take the rook. Um, how to do this? I should just go into the king pawn ending. Okay, seven seconds. It's enough time to win this. Opponent wants a draw. Not all king pawn endings are drawn. Is Black going to try and flag me? Or maybe just flag themselves? Okay, I <laughs> one on time. Uh, okay, it was good that I didn't get too long on time. 30 months of oh no, my queen. Oh yes. And I've loved every second of it. Oh, thank you, Gary. Happy 30 months. Okay, no berserking. I'll play e4 again. And getting a nice mix of some aggressive e4 openings. I'll play Ponziani. It's not a gambit, but it's aggressive. Maybe there's some lines where I can gambit. Like this line. I'll let black take my pawn. Oh, okay. This is a nice opening trap. Once the knight moves, I play queen a4 check and win the other knight. Black realizes that. And, uh, okay, I'm, I'm up material here. Do some artificial castling. Salutations. Thank you for the salutations. Happy nine months to Cassie. Now we saw this theme in the French game. This uh, square in the pawn's territory defended by a pawn 
a really nice outpost square for the night. There's not much black can do about it. Now in that previous game, I like I mishandled it and got a worse position. So it's important not to be like too celebratory. Like, it's still kind of a fight. But prospects are looking good. Let's play. I mean, I could take the knight. I don't think there's any reason to. Play this move. Hello to Shwarma. Okay, now... Again, there's no real reason to take. I think I'll just like slowly improve. King is slightly happier on the light square. Okay, now I'll take. Maybe this knight can come to a, a different Alpo square. Another feature of the position, the C file is the only open file. So maybe it makes sense to fight for. Just have to make sure the queen doesn't come to h2. Yeah, threatening this. Then king h7. Mm, I gotta be careful. Check. And this first, kind of walking into a pin. Hmm. Yeah, black is fighting. Queen g3, I have knight f3. Defending, attacking, obstructing the defense. Thank you, Gary. Walking into a pin ouch. Yeah, I walked out of the pin though. Everything's okay now. It only hurt for a very brief moment. Okay, let's throw in a check and take a pawn. Now I'm threatening um, discovery. Still maybe go for it. Or do I sack my queen? My queen sack almost works. I really want to sack and then this, but... Um, I mean, this is a simple enough line. Take, take. Yeah, and we trade everything. They're really trading a lot of things. Hooray, eat. Hooray. Okay, very, very soon we can celebrate. Wait, there, there, there. Okay, this, it's close, but we're getting the job done. What's happening after king? There's king d4, which is surprisingly tricky. I would have just queened, but uh, okay, here we go. I think you are right. No stalemates. Okay, where's the funny mate? Let me triangulate first. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to triangulate to get this mate. Uh, okay. The opposition mate. 
My king and queen had opposition on the black king. Back to tournament. Okay. 31st place. Wow, the leader has 45. I only have 16 points. So if I want to win the tournament, I really have to berserk like every game. Wow, thank you, Funky Donkey, gifting 10. Also, thank you to people who I didn't acknowledge. Sometimes these games take up most of my attention. Um, but I appreciate the support. Okay, we have a King's Gambit, Falkbeer, Counter Gambit. Uh, this is an interesting line. Queen d4, I think I just take and castle. If it takes a knight, I have this. I may have had this, although probably not. Queen h4 was still a threat. C5. Yeah, probably a mistake to trade queens, but it doesn't look too bad. I'm still down the pawn, but uh, these pawns are weak. I take. I want to go after this pawn. Like knight b4 is a one of the main ideas, or knight d4. Okay, attacking both pawns. This pawn's attacked twice too. Knight h5 is a counterattack. I think we're just trading. Although takes takes, uh, it's tricky. Nice move. Mm. Actually, I take with a rook. Takes, takes, check there, there. It can get really tricky. I mean, knight g5 is coming, e6 is a bit tender, but rook e1, don't think it's too hurtful. Maybe could have played this. Play this. My knight's pinned. Now this is a fork. Hey, Eric. Hey. I want to win a two. There we go. Oh, it's tricky. Oh, oops. There we go. OK. 
We have plenty of time. Okay, that took work. Got the job done. Oh, man. Yeah, that was a hard-fought game. Almost didn't make it towards the end there. Very tricky rook ending. So... 13th? 21 points? Berserk again? Um, I'll play e4 again. Let's play a Smith Mora. Okay, I insist. Okay, let's take this. I'm out of theory, but this looks playable. And at some point I can play e6. What is this opening? Uh, play bishop g5. What a weird opening. Queen b6 maybe comes, yeah. I'm just going to abandon the queenside pawns. I'm gambiting the whole queenside. Bishop b5. It's all about peace activity. The more pawns I lose, the more open vials I gain. This obstructs the queen, so I win the knight. Hmm... I mean, g5, I take it. <laughs> oh, dear. I have... Huh. I'm actually queen e5 in that line, too. g5, queen e5 is interesting. Wait, queen e no, the knight's pinned. Never mind. Queen e5 is not interesting. Maybe knight? No, not an e5 either. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm obligated to sack there. Okay, I'm going to sack my rook. To, oh, no. I didn't want a queen trade. I was trying something. Knight h5 is probably coming. And rook e3. At least time is dwindling for black. So I'm down a full bishop. And just castle. The more pawns I lose, the more open vials I gain. The theme of the game. I want to play g3 if I get the chance. Bishop e 8s an idea too. What's happening? Let's play this first. I think I'm winning back the piece. I Yeah, we're just simplifying. No, I'm expecting bishop a5 there. Knight's on the run. 
Don't oh, I made a queen. It didn't really help though. Ah, uh, good game. Oh, that was a crazy game. Okay, still a lot of time left. Two losses so far. Leader has 49 points. Hasn't lost a game. Yeah, the opening looked good at first, but things got kind of out of control. I mean, I sacked a lot of things that game. And then Black sacked back and got the better endgame. Um, yeah, let's go for Scandi. The one time I played Scandi, my opponent played a Tennyson. Uh, okay, I'll play e5. Maybe reverse Danish. Bishop e3. I mean, asking for d4, but let me try and keep the position somewhat open. f3. Okay, there's no time to be confused. You just have to follow principles. Yeah, I'm going for a triangle formation, but uh, do I just sack? I think I just sack here. Okay. Uh, this is already kind of backfiring. What to do? Thank you, Erdos. Oh no! Get my colleague merch. broke my old rose. Oh no! Oh no! Someone call an ambulance. I need immediate medical help for your mug. Hey, we're getting the same idea again. I'm gonna get my octopus knight. Octopus on e3. Threatening a fork too. I mean, rook c1 is likely. This, this move has a few ideas to it. Uh, for one, it prevents knight f5. I mean, knight e4 is coming. Uh, bishop g7. Okay, white gave back the peas. Now oh, f5 coming. Okay, this should be good. The knight's almost trapped, but not quite. Uh, knight c4 may be coming. Knight c4, e5, or e4. Uh, how to do this. I'll bring the king in. What a position. I want to play f3, bishop h4, and f2, checkmate. Simple plan. Hitting the rook. I think you will. Uh, let's still go for this. Allowing the sack, but and I'll win the rook in the end. Ooh. Wait, I'm not mating. It's actually far from simple. Should have taken the rook.
Okay, the bishop is locked in. Okay. <laughs> I got low on time there. GG. 39 minutes left. A lot of headway to me. So this Blitzek this looks like drew a few games. Still on the streak. Okay. I want to be competitive in the tournament. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's play a Goring Gambit, which started as an England. And now we're actually transposing into Ponziani. A lot of different opening transpositions there. Thank you, backwards popcorn. Yeah, so this is a, a position in Ponziani that I've had probably a good number of times before. Um, play rookie one. Just aligning with the king. The f6 was probably not a great move. For reasons that we'll see soon. Bishop g5. Yeah, this is a big headache for black. Uh, I mean, mating ideas. Maybe this move. So if it takes, it's made in two. Threatening made in two. Yeah, pretty bad position for black. The king can castle, bishop's pinned. The pieces are kind of in the way. Uh, let's check and mate. Okay, that was nice. That's why it's nice to know a variety of openings, because it started as d4, but... I went into a line in Ponziani. Okay. Trying to rebound. 13th place. Playing just a knight. I still want my first Stafford this tournament. Are we going to see it? No, we're not. Yeah, it's hard to gamut against this line. Um, maybe f5. F5 and then bishop c5. As I'm kind of just making things up, but this looks looks to be on the more aggressive side. Bishop e6. Mm, that's a good move. I think I have to take with the d-pawn. Take with f-pawn. There, there, there. Maybe it's playable. Queen d7. I was expecting knight g5. Mm. Yeah, I had the option of taking, but I'd rather keep this bishop. Okay, the knight's hanging. I think the queen has to move back. But that was probably an interesting decision because my dark squares are weak. Uh, what to do? Maybe this? I do have knight d7. I mean, this looks like a very strong configuration, but once knight d7 happens... It could very quickly crumble. Long term, or maybe like medium term, uh, F2 is going to be a target. Especially once this bishop goes away. Like every single piece, at least these pieces, um, have potential to hit F2. Like knight coming to g4, triple battery action. Even e3 could happen. Start with rook f5. Mm. Yeah, some trades. Wanted to make knight f3 work. 
Take, take. And queen f6 first. So I'm threatening knight f3 to win the queen. We could trade. The opponent misses it. So this is a discovered fork. Okay. So no Staffords yet. Top 10, 32 points. Oh, Blitzek has had the first loss of uh, the tournament. But they've played, it looks like they've played more games than anyone else. So I'm trying to like, not only play games, but win quickly. I want to play this, um, B4 Gambit. A B4 Gambit declined. D4 happens. Ninety five. Yeah, Queen is still a target. Uh, maybe G4 coming. Yeah, I'm not holding back here. Wow. Play this. Yeah, knight d5. Take it and bishop f3. Assuming queen takes. The pawn takes. You have to be a little bit more patient. I mean, <laughs> it's move 14. Black has everything in the back rank. I want to orchestrate some attack. F4. Queen e2 first. The reinforcing. I'm not going to go after this pawn. F6 is likely coming, or not. So there's a cool idea to play, start with bishop e1. The idea is to play g5, take, queen h5, rook h3. Get some mating attack. If g6, then I swarm the h-pawn. Yeah, this looks very strong. And there's only so much black can do to defend. There's knight e3 check, king f3. Queen c2 defends h7, but doesn't defend h8. If f5, I play g6. Take away the f7 square. Rook f8, I mate. Hey, it's I'm a cola. Ooh, that move I didn't see. I do appreciate the raid. Um, welcome, everyone. Uh, wow. So if I play this takes... I don't have time to calculate, though. Let's take this. If you're just joining, we have a really crazy position here. Um, I went all out for the attack. <laughs> now it's complicated. Shout out to Imacola. Hope you had a nice stream. Okay, this is mating. Man, what a game. Oh. Yeah, no time to waste between games. It's important to get in as many games as possible. I'm 20 points behind the leader. And they're higher rated than me too, so it's a lot to make up. Uh, Berserk still waiting for the first Stafford. Are we going to have it? Okay, we'll have a four knights. There's ways to play aggressively against this. This is an interesting line. It's called the Schmid defense. Um, it's not bad for Blitz. Confuses a lot of people. 
D5 here. Thank you, Infinitum. Although, yeah, we're trading a lot. But I'm up a pawn now. A2 maybe under attack. Do I want to take A2? Probably not. I'll just complete development. Mm hmm. F5. Allowing rook d4. I'll just castle. Threatening f4 now. I'm not sure what, what h4 did there. Oh, maybe white wanted to move the rook and not allow bishop h2. Yeah, still looking at this this move, but don't think it leads to much. Take there, there, there. Let's play a5 first. Now I'm threatening to take, because b3 and then a4, or b3, bishop a3 first. Wow. Okay. C4 is coming. There's a funny line. C4, bishop f7, take, and then rook e8. Might actually win material. I'm not sure if white can actually take the pawn. I'm in time to now defend, threatening this. Uh, nice move. Play this. This could be close. I don't know what's what white's gonna play here though. Like rook g seven, king f eight. Okay. Yeah, this is winning. Okay. Whew. Man, these games aren't easy. You have 42 points in third place playing Budash. We'll play e4 again. Uh, we'll play knight c3 Sicilian. Not a gambit, but uh, an aggressive opening. A Grand Prix attack. I mean, this move's possible. This move is looking possible. Actually, like, black is already in big trouble here. Okay, let's take. The knight's pinned. Queen d4. Queen d4, I take, take, and then take. I'm winning the rook or mating.
Okay, up a piece. Play d3 first. Should be a simple conversion. Ooh. Oh, let's be careful. I want to play queen e3 to get to checkmate, but I would walk into bishop d4. Okay, now there's no more pin, and this is pretty much unstoppable. Yeah, knight g5, a typical pattern. Okay. 18 move win in second place. Still kind of far behind the leader. Um, haven't played them yet, actually. Playing human brain. Let's stay with the same opening as the previous game. It worked out really well. Bishop c4. Um, Bishop d4 is after knight d4. There we go. I like this opening for fast chess because the plans are very simple. Play rook b1 first. Yeah, interesting idea pushing a pawn. Um, I still want to establish a knight on a4. It's a little bit more of a positional idea. But then, yeah, very soon going for the attack. Maybe I should have started with f5. Because black might play on five. How did you get your M norms? Is it equally as difficult as a GM norm? Um, it's well, getting GM norms are a lot more difficult than IM norms because there's a higher threshold in terms of like results and performance rating. Um, I got my IM norms over the course of five years, or no, four years. Got my first IM norm in Brazil in 2011 at the World U18 Championships. And then got my second one maybe in 20... I forget what year. 2013? 2014? Got my third one in 2015. So it requires... um what was IM? It requires like 2450 performance rating. I have to be careful here. And this pawn diamond wants to hurt me. Yeah, these light squares are very tender. But I have some attack. This is actually a crazy position. Play bishop f4 first. Oh no, my bishop. What's happening? The rook can defend. Okay. Okay, I was very fortunate there. I mean, I felt very close to getting mated myself. Okay. Uh, ooh, fighting back. Okay, 19 minutes left. 
Oh, we'll go for a Budapest. Yeah, Budapest Gambit. Oops! <laughs> My mouse slips. Oh, what is this? I'll play F5. Okay, this is a new novelty in the Budapest. We're sacking a knight so early. Defending G5, maybe. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, this is something. I mean, I'm down a piece. Queen B5 would have crushed me there. Not what I want. Got this option. Weird tactics here. I'll still be down a piece. Hmm. Okay, weird things are happening. This is what I want. What I really, really want. Take this move. What's happening? So if takes, I pin. If takes, I take back. Somehow I'm, I'm up a pawn. I don't know how that happened. What just happened? About to win another pawn. I have the bishop pair. Now I'm pinning the rook. What a turnaround. Still not on time. We're trading everything. All the game. Where's my mate? There's my mate. Okay. All the game. Oh, that was insane. I mean, I've... That was the opening where I blundered a piece on move three. So I mouse slipped. The new and improved Budapest Gambit. Undefeated without opening. Okay, this player beat me before. Let's play, um, not a Gambit, but... Okay, I tried to Gambit. This is a Benoni Dutch. That's a dubious opening, but... Actually, I played this opening to get my final I Am Norm. The 2015 Philly Open. I beat an I am with black. Uh, I think this is a move. I went through a phase playing this and like studying the lines. We're going to get a pretty abstract position here. This is a move, and I am this. Yeah, 
just going for the fiend kettle. Hmm. I remember some idea it takes and then d5 can pre move that. Wow. So I am down a pawn, but I have an interesting pawn center. Can I not defend this thing? I can't defend that. I have to move it. Let me check. Oh dear. Some trouble. Could actually be a lot of trouble. Take. Scared of bishop c4. Yeah, because knight d5, knight d5 or queen d6, though. So knight's attacked. What a position. Really crazy position. I have this move. And the pawn's still defended by the bishop. I want to play this. That's a fork. It's artificial castle. Counterattack the bishop. Okay, things are under control. Still a little bit down on time, but no, that's checkmate. Okay, what a game. Oh, what a crazy game. Very abstract game. Okay, massive berserking streak. I'm one point behind the leader. Playing Bondo the coach. Play e4. I keep playing aggressive openings. Let's play... What do I want to play? Four pawns attack? Four pawns attack. G5. What is G5? So it's black playing aggressively too. Um... Play d5, idea e6. I really don't know about this. This looks good though with the king here. e5 maybe coming? e5 I take. Oops. Yeah, knight g5 coming. We're seeing this theme again and again in my games. The knight accessing a, a square in the opponent's territory defended by my pawn. Yeah, this just looks really good now. I feel like this tournament, my games have just gotten crazier and crazier and crazier. Especially those last two. It's absolute insanity. This game is crazy in a good way. A lax position, a little bit questionable. This is just really nice peace harmony for white. Yeah, if black sacks, I fork in the end. Maybe I should have included knight g5. Ooh, fancy. Let's take that. Yeah, this square looks awfully juicy. But I want to start with bishop check. And then uh, bishop f5. Try and trap the queen. Or just win the queen. Yeah, only legal move. Okay. Have to get the final piece into the game. 
There's later ideas of sacking and pushing, so the rook can play a role. As a great Gotham chess would say, the rook! The other rook! I wish I could say it with as much enthusiasm as him. Okay. That was a nice game. Did I leapfrog? Hey, I leapfrog. Okay. But yeah, second place is, is on a streak. Uh, let's go Zerk. Play d4. Uh, let's go back to this. This has served me well so far. I'll play d4. So knight f6, bishop b5 is an interesting line. The idea is if knight c6, I just take it. If a6, I play e5. Um, I think I'm supposed to take here in bishop f4 and just castle with check. And still get some attack against the king. And bishop g5 coming, but then maybe e5. Okay, and defending first. Oh, maybe I could have played this move. Never mind. Play this move. Yeah, but then a3 first. Yeah, this game, it's a little bit more positional. I tried to play an aggressive opening. Still trying to play aggressively. e5 coming. Maybe, uh, like, bishop c4, b3. Ooh. Play this. Some cases, h4 concedes g4, but... Wait, I have this move. So I'm threatening to take and win material. This could be a long grind. Bishop e5. The problem is for black, the rooks are not connected. I have this move. Like g4 at the right moment. Maybe rook d4 be on my radar. Mm, a5. C5's coming. Okay, that makes life a lot easier. But it's going to still take a lot of milking. Patience is key. Speed is also key. Hmm. The idea is to bring the king to f6. Or d6. Or back to f4. Okay, I'm sacking the pawn. Okay, now the idea is to checkmate on d8. Mm. 
Mission almost accomplished. Bishop d7, I win the rook. Yeah, this is winning. The rook. Oh, there's no steel matrix. Okay. One more game, maybe? Let's go. Okay. Creating a cushion. Big berserk streak. 72 points. I don't think anyone's catching me at this point. But I'll try and finish strong. One final game. One final aggressive gambit type opening. I'm feeling O'Sullivan gambit. Haven't played in O'Sullivan. Uh, Knight F3. Play this first. Okay, this isn't really a gambit, but maybe it's something. Okay, I'm playing aggressively. Here we go. Uh, C6. C6, A5. Yeah, this is something. Yeah, this game might not count for the tournament. Uh, something's coming to d3. Although, white's not threatening to take as I take back and fork. It's an awkward position for white. I'm threatening maybe to take on e2 with the rook. g5. G5 there, there. Yeah, this first. Just applying more pressure. I really want to take. Play this first. And G5 how do you sub six. with prime? Uh, that's, that's how. <laughs> Looks like you figured it out. Uh, let's play this. Wait, I gotta, I gotta focus. I'm uh, running a little bit low on time here. Knight is kind of stuck. Almost ready to take it. Trying to clamp down. It's not simple. Okay, now it's Yo. simpler. Well, you should have played f6 first. Yo. That's still tricky with the time situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything's still defended. Just trading. Not easy. Knights defend everything.
Let's go. Okay. Oh, what a finish to the tournament. Oh, man. That game didn't count for the tournament, but I uh, oh, had to show some speed there. <laughs> wow, okay. GG. GG's. Got some more confetti. That was fun. I hope people enjoyed that. Oh, one more thing. If this goes on YouTube, shout out to people watching in the future on YouTube. Uh, let me know your favorite game from the tournament. Uh, I'll timestamp all the all the games in the video description. Had some really crazy ones.